So, so today we'll be learning about connection with the ladies. Now, I say connection with the ladies. That's the that's the course you paid for, but in reality, connection is connection, right? Doesn't matter who you're connecting with, right? Um, women, men, the context, whether it's dating, whether it's getting a job, making friends. Um, it's all just happening between two people. Why do most people feel um, totally alone and isolated? Lots of people are depressed. So why is that? Why are people unhappy, disconnected, on antidepressants, and socially awkward? What, what, what's the one thing that's missing in all these people's lives that they're, they're popping pills just to fucking survive? What's going on? I think people uh, don't have enough people taking interest in them like talking to them, trying to figure out what makes them them, what are their passions, what are their dreams, and so they feel like not valued at all. Boom. Pretty much hit the nail on the head. He's a genius. Look at him. He's, he's handsome and he's a genius. It's unbelievable. It's the fact that nobody is seen. Nobody really feels seen for who they are. Right? Nobody, no, and nobody feels truly seen for who they are. Because that's all, that's all this on the deepest level, right? All we want is somebody to really see who we are, see us as a human, and see, see our faults, and see our worries, and see our past, all of it, and just go, hey, you know what? Wow, I see you. I understand. You know, you've been through some hard stuff, and you had some shit happen, and, and, you've, and you've had pain, but you've made it, and, and fuck yeah, you know, you're an awesome being, and I have love for you, and it's, you know, it's awesome that you made it here, and you're going you're gonna to be okay. You know, that's all people want. They just want to be seen. They just want to hug and be told that they're they're not bad and that they're okay, and uh, and they just want to be you know, they they want to feel like somebody gives a shit, right? We just want to think that somebody cares. That's it. Somebody cares, you know, other than just our mom. You know what I mean? Our mom, our dad, someone else. You know, and uh, and so so this is what we're talking about. And so how do we how do we truly connect on that level? On that level, how do we connect with somebody? By being present and genuinely taking an interest in them. Somebody give him, give him a prize. Do you have a prize? Give him a prize. What do you got in your pocket? High five will have to do. See, that emotional love, that's what you're going to get. So, so when we're talking about feeling love, forgiving ourselves, feeling good about who we are, being present, and acting you know, from that place of, boom, I love people. I want to be curious about people. I want to meet you. Who are you? The questions themselves will just arise in the moment. And this is what we're working towards. So I'm hoping at the end of today, you'll just be at that place where you'll, you'll just be so present. The curiosity will arise. And as you're standing in front of somebody, you'll just be like, oh, you know what? You just have such a, such a friendly vibe. Like you would, you would be epic in a job like, you know, dealing with people like customer service or real estate or, you know, sell anything with people. Like, do you work with people? And people will be like, oh, yeah, actually, I do work with you. Oh, OK, cool. Uh, ep- oh, yeah, what do you do? You know, I knew that about you. And if they go, no, you go, really? Oh, I could have sworn. Oh, what do you do? And either way, whether you're right or wrong, it makes no difference. Why? Why does it make no difference when you make that assumption based on your curiosity? Why does it make no difference whether you're right or wrong? Because you're genuinely taking an interest in them. So even if you're making an assumption, you're making an observation about them and that's like giving them value. Yeah, absolutely. You're 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 paying attention. You're curious. You're in the moment, and it it again. It just the f- I mean, in that case, that's a compliment. What I said, right? But also, just the fact that I care enough and I'm paying attention enough to them and their field and their vibe, and I'm taking a moment to talk to them. Just the fact that I'm curious because it's curiosity, right? To go, oh, you seem really friendly. You must be working with people. It's curiosity. I'm curious. I'm going, well, tell me about you. Boom, and it's coming from a place of authenticity, right? I want to know. Or if some, if, you know, if I see some um, somebody, man or woman, frankly, and they're just dressed epic, they're just like, wow, like some crazy ass clothes, and I'm just like, where do you even buy that? Like their their style is insane. I'll just be like, yo, or like what, you know, what is this? Are you, are you a model that somebody dress you up, or like, or, or you, or you just have like, this is ridiculous. Like I would pay you to dress me, you know? And I'm like, who, like who are you? And they're gonna be like, oh yeah, actually, you know, I design clothes. I'm a clothes designer. I design this stuff. And I'll be like, are you shitting me? That's fucking crazy. How did you get into that? And, and, and that boom, curiosity. 
You know, if somebody walks like with epic posture, and I've 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 had this before, a woman will walk by and her, her whole vibe is just so like boom, like just epic. Like I'm just like damn, it looks like she's walking down a a runway, and I'll just be like, damn, your posture is unbelievable. Are you a model? Or are you like an actress? Like what's going on here? I'm curious, and I, and because I actually have had for years, I actually had shitty posture, so I'm very curious to how you got here. Uh, and again, curiosity doesn't matter if I'm wrong. She might be like, no, I actually I did fucking. You know, I teach people how to drive cars. <laughs> you know, I'm a car instructor. I just, but yeah, like I've just, I just always worked on my posture, and uh, and I have done a bit of modeling in the past, so you know, I kind of have that. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, you know, whatever, it's the curiosity. It's the curiosity. And so, that's what we're shooting for. So there's no need to really pre-plan any questions ever in a conversation. But one of my little guidelines is. Whatever you're, you're always fishing for, what excites you? What's interesting for you? So, for example, I love girls who travel around the world. They have great stories. They're adventurous. So I'll just so if I if I really if I'm a little stuck or whatever, I'll just say, hey, um, do you like to travel? Yeah, you're tra and they'll just say, oh yeah. I say, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where you been? Uh, you know. Uh, and I'll just it's a fish. I'll just whoop, I'll just do a little fishing. Hey, do you like to travel? Uh, do you uh, you know? Do you like to read? Are you a reader? Yeah. What are you reading? Because I'm reading an epic book right now. It's blowing my mind. And I just can't believe how much this book's changing my life. So I'm just, just curious. Like, are you are you reading anything? You see? And for that to be true and for me to be passionate, I'm passionate about the book I'm reading right now. You see? You don't have to have the perfect career, the perfect life. No. You could be reading one book that's blowing your reality. And because you'll be so excited about it, that'll come out in a conversation. So you could literally come up to your girl and be like, yo, hey, you're reading a book. What are you reading? No, I'm reading a book right now. It's fucking, I cannot believe how epic it is. And you just rant, talk about it for a minute and be like, so just, it's, and, and women will be, they'll feel that and they'll be like, oh shit, tell me more about this book. This sounds awesome. Wow, where did you find this book? So you'll have this really cool conversation about one thing, be super passionate. And even though they don't know shit about you, just the fact that you're excited, you'll be like, look, I got to go. You seem cool as shit. You want to get like a coffee sometime or whatever? You know, you're really cute, though, and, and and I am hitting on you. So if you have a boyfriend, tell me right now. And they're like, I don't have a boyfriend. You want to get a coffee? Yeah, you seem, yeah, why not? Take my number. Boom, done. Why? Because they felt the passion. You were excited about something. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. But if you discover it for one thing, I guarantee you it'll take over your life and it'll spread to everything. So if you're thinking, man, I'd like to be sitting on a bench with Sasha, getting some of that good stuff, check out the schedule below and catch me on my world tour.